right, so we got new festival exclusive King and new Demon Hendrickson coming banner tomorrow. Festival exclusive banner. Now, this is not going to be all the news. This video will only be talking about the characters uh, because the whole patch notes aren't translated yet. I'll be posting the video of the, the rest of the stuff coming. There's a lot of stuff coming from the celebration. So I'll be whenever I do upload that video, I'll be putting the top right right there. This video, I'll be focusing on the characters and what they do. Uh, they are both quite insane for what it looks like. We've seen gameplay. I've already uploaded a video reacting to the, oh, nice face. Uh, reacting to their live stream. They showed a PvP match using these characters, and it seemed ridiculous. Now, one thing to point out, they already posted, of course, this is on Japanese, so it's not translated, but the banner. So, yeah, the banner, King, is at 0.5% rates, which is higher than Lost of Aiden Elizabeth was. Lost of Aiden Elizabeth was, were, in their official release banner, 0.25%. So they are making Fast exclusive now, 0.5%, I don't know. But both him and Hendrix are 0.5%. And Lost Vein and Elizabeth are these two. They are in the banner of very low rates. So that's all you need to know. Now let's talk about what they do. King, this is insane. So let me actually, uh, give, give me a second. I took off a little bit of the zoom. Uh, but yeah, King is absolutely insane. Uh, again, I saw the, the PvP match and he was crazy. So, let's, his unique is pretty long, or passive. Nullify, he's a blue unit, as you can see. He's not a skinny king, he's a winged king, just so you know. Nullify the cleansing effect on recovery skills on enemies with two or more poison, bleed, shock, or corrosion effects. These are the only effects we'll apply for. If there are three or more of the affirmation bu debuffs, Further decreases the enemy's ultimate move gauge by one orb at the end of your turn. This is very important. This passive is long and it may seem like it's not that good because it's very specific debuffs, but keep hearing. <clears throat> so, first card. Inflicts damage equal to 450% of attacks to one enemy. Release 130% of any dot damage over time. Shock, poison, bleed, damage. Release deals a percentage of the leftover dot debuff damage as additional damage. So, I guess this will raise off with this will raise with the card. But let's say if the enemy has bleed, poison, and shock, right? Once you attack with King, he will do the damage of the card and the damage of the poison, bleed, and shock in one hit. So if they have all three, the three debuffs, they will take a super mega hit from King. <laughs> That's what's happening. His other card is inflicts damage equal to 205%, this level 3, and poisons for 3 turns, which equals damage to 60%. Again, poison being one of the effects from his card. Now, his ultimate inflicts damage equal to 300% of attack to all enemies, applies Abyss effect on the hero, and receives 50% less damage for 2 turns. Abyss inflicts 30% of damage dealt with his ult on the enemies at the start of the enemy's turn. Only the latest. Abyss effect would be applied. And then at level 6, it's 450% the multiplier, and the Abyss goes up to 60% actually. Hmm. This is an AoE ultimate, of course, and it takes 50% of damage. I saw this in action, so what happened was in the in the battle they, they did. I'm gonna before I talk about uh Dim uh Dim Hendrickson, let's let me show you the battle they had on their stream. Their PvP battle. Okay, so they were using the new Hendrickson, uh, King, and Blue Elizabeth. Yes, Blue Elizabeth against the uh, Lost Vein, Liz, and King comp. They just wanted to show how it stomps that comp. Um, pretty much. So, King, right? Actually, I I I'll talk about Hendrickson first because it, it makes sense. Hendrickson applies Shock and Bleed. So they go hand in hand. If you start your battle, apply poison, and then apply shock and bleed, you proc King's passive. They go hand in hand. You see what's happening. And <laughs> here it is. Hendrickson's passive increases damage of allies' debuff attack skill. Which are these three cards? They're all debuff attack skills. They're being increased by 50% damage. Excluding deathmatch, but we, we, we only think of PvP, right? 
And the ultimate of Hendrickson inflicts weak point 285. The same ult as uh, the Melly. But you see, you see how they go hand in hand. They are best buddies. These two. So, very important thing. That this is how their match went. In the beginning, they did exactly that. They use both Hendrickson's cards and they use King card. If they go any faster, let me let me uh, bump up the speed a little bit. Okay. So yeah, they use all three of these cards back to back. So they applied King's um, King's passive. Oop. Yeah, as you can see, King has chest to fold. Yes, it looks really cool. So the passive is applied. You see, they have three ultimate gauge. Once it goes to their turn, they have two. They lost their ultimate gauge. They can gain ultimate gauge. They in fact can gain ultimate gauge. But even if they have five, which they actually demonstrate this, in the following turn, they'll lose one anyways. So physically, they cannot get ultimates. And they can't cleanse. They can't cleanse. Cleanse effects are not working once they have these three debuffs applied. This is a super insane combo. Like, it really is. <laughs> Um, initially, we thought that he would just apply for any 3 debuffs, but it's very specific, as we Poison, Bleed, Shock, or Corrosion. So, DM Alley can also work for him. Now, it's really crazy. He, he looks really crazy. Now, let's, let me show how he looks, both King and Hendrickson real quick, because they look sick. So, this is King. King has a uh, Chastifold on his form, right? and his stand form, and these are his stats, at least, th th this should be full Super Awakened of costumes, right? 64% pierce, 62% resistance, 72% chance to crit, 185% crit damage, 26% lifesteal, that's pretty good. And of course, do they hover over the skills to show, yeah, so this is the 450%, the, the level 3. Did they show, yeah, 205% um, for the poison? But did they show the other levels? No, they didn't. Or at least I don't think so. That's unfortunate. I mean, I, I can I can at least show the animations then. I, I wanted to see the um, all the uh, what's it called? The uh, percentage multipliers, but it's fine. So these are animations for King, and I'll also show Hendrickson as well. But well, these characters are sick. And this banner, like I, I think I've been I've been thinking this for a bit. I believe so that. Uh, at this point, free-to-play players should only be summoning for Festival Exclusive Banners. Festival Exclusive Banners are the best banners in the game. There, there's no competition. Like, maybe, okay? If you're facing... And this is the, the King Attack I said, that uh, it releases the uh, the damage from the poison in the card as well. He, he, he goes, just to throw! And then just for attacks. It's, it's so crazy. And then this, this is the ult. Yeah, you just fly up and it's it's real sick. It's real sick. All right, so you can see the uh, the 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 goo in the ground. This is the abyss. It will do sixty percent or whatever. Sixty percent is the max, right? Thirty percent, whatever, more damage in the next turn. And as you can see by the buffs, they have damage reduction now. Um, let me go back to Hendrickson. Hendrickson also looks sick. I think they both look sick. So, this is uh, when they show the box. People, okay, actually, a little bit better. A little bit before, actually. People are freaking out because then they saw they saw the king. And, um, uh, yeah, this can see, these are their uh, miniatures, the, the new two characters. Hendrickson, let me show, let me see the stats real quick. I actually didn't pay attention to the stats. Oh, did, did they not show? <clears throat> they, they, they must have shown the stats. They always do. If not, that's unfortunate. Um, they must have shown the stats, yeah. No! They did not show the substats. What? Wild. Alright. But as you can see, um, this, these are the animations. I mean, this animation right here uh, is the same one you can see in story mode when you fight them. I, I think actually both. You can, yeah, both. These are all the animations that were already in the game. Um, from story mode. Still sick, though. I... I was really waiting for Demon Hendrickson. I don't think he has costumes though. <clears throat> because um, they always, with these patch notes, right? Release characters with costumes. Like, is it King's costume? 
but there's no costume for Hendrickson. Yeah, these are all king. Like, there's no costume for Hendrickson, which is weird. But as you can see, Hendrickson is a free unit. Let me scroll down a little bit more, see if I find that. Um, should be somewhere around here. But Hendrickson, at least one Hendrickson is free. I don't know where I'm gonna find this. But, uh, might be this one I just clicked. Oh, these are the packs. <clears throat> at least one Hendrickson is free from the events. So, you, just like Fraugen, um, was Oh, they're buffing! Okay, so these are buffs for the bleed cards. No, no, sorry, the poison cards. I guess poison, uh, poison and shock are getting buffed. You can see the multipliers increasing right there. Um, I wanna find... I wanna find that. But, wait, give me a second. It actually took me much longer than I, than I thought it was gonna take. That's not... I'm not pr very proud of that. But I found it. It's here. It's the missions you get the free green Hendrickson from uh, these missions. Again, I will be talking about all the patch notes, which is decently big, um, once the, it all gets translated. I don't wanna have, you know, like, oh, this could be this. I, I wanna have it all. So this was just for the characters. Um, yes, I do recommend summoning. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If you have gems, put it in this banner. Um, the banner will be like Elizabeth's at the uh, the 300 mark. Let me, let me go here. At the 300 mark. Uh, yeah, 300 mark, you get a guaranteed star. 600 mark, you get another guaranteed star. And then 900, you can choose either King or Lost Bay. So let's say, if you don't have either, and you pulled King um, at one point or another, and you won Lost Vein as well, you can pick Lost Vein. So, you can choose either or, you can choose both. Now they're changing something here. So, if, uh, you know, you get, let's say, so, let's say somehow, right? You have 6 Lost Vein, and you wanna get dupes for other characters. If you pull more Lost Veins, and you have three coins of a Fastable Exclusive, you can trade it for another Fastable Exclusive. King is not in here yet, but I'm assuming he's gonna be in the next one. So, if this keeps going, Passable exclusive coins will have such good value because let's say I don't max out King now. Let's say I pull four copies of King, but I pull like six copies of Lost Vein. Next time a Passable exclusive banner comes around, I could buy two copies of King if this keeps going on. So that's good. Um, and, and stuff like that, right? So um, yeah, the banner looks like this. Um, really can't tell what feature the answer in the banner, but again, I will be taking a look at it once it's all translated. I'll be keeping you updated, I'll upload the video as fast as I can. So yeah, these are the characters, they're insane, someone if you can, and that's it.